Hey guys, Bogart Bear. Welcome to another theory. <clears throat> I can't speak. It's another one. Anyway, time for another theory video, because I was bored. So, anyway, uh, today's theory is about the legendary Doom Fist. Okay, how do I start this? Um, I don't know. <laughs> uh, okay, basically, for those of you who don't know, Doomfist is a reoccurring thing in Overwatch community and in game. It's just a thing. Heck, it was in the first trailer before the game even came out. And we've gotten three new characters, none of which being Doomfist. Uh, I don't know. Maybe we never will. But the there, but my theory on the matter is, uh, if you pay attention to the original trailer. You'll see something. For one thing, the kid's arm just so happens to be broken, which, you know, could just be a random aesthetic. You know, why not? It just... Yeah. But, if you pay attention... It actually was this arm. If you pay attention to it, you'll notice that when he puts his arm on the glass, you'll see that it triggers. It actually activates something, scanning his hand and reacting to it. And that's kind of odd. Now then, uh, the last a lot of you know, in Numbani, I don't know. I think it was Numbani. Uh, the Doomfist Gauntlet was the payload that you were supposed to move. But you'll see that the area was destroyed and the gauntlet was stolen. Now then, this like this eleven-year-old with a broken arm didn't do that. It's not something that could have happened. So, a theory that a lot of people have is Doomfist isn't going to be a character, but a boss for a custom game mode. Something perhaps along the lines of a combination of Junkenstein's Revenge and the recent uprising that just ended. Like, three, four days ago? Yeah. It was four days ago that it ended. It was cool. It was a cool update. Uh, and sorry if you didn't get to play that, but oh well. But basically, I kind of agree to an extent. You see, <clears throat> uh, the uh, the other people who think there's going to be a thing, I I think it's possible. But afterward, I'd say it's going to be good because this kid is going to be important because not only was he just kind of randomly one of the kids that was in the original trailer but he's also a spray he's one of the little spray paints you can put on the wall and i mean that wouldn't really mean much but he's the only one the doom uh as far as i know the doomfist gauntlet and his brother aren't sprays that you can put on but he is a spray the thing is his brother arguably did more in the opening than he did. He actually got the gauntlet and punched Widowmaker. Uh, so what I think is this kid's going to be important for something. If he's not the new Doomfist, he's going to have something to do with it. And, uh, yeah. Because I think the guy who stole the Doomfist, he's, he's gonna be the boss. People are gonna beat him. And then the Doomfist Gauntlet is going to be returned. Tracer also said to him specifically, the world always needs more heroes. Something's going to happen with this kid. Some science thing. He's going to be the new Doomfist. Uh, I, I just... I... It's just... There's so much stuff pointing to it. The, yeah. This kid's, if he's not the new Doomfist, he's going to be important to the Doomfist. Plus, they've also, Blizzard has stated that while they were thinking of making Doomfist character, there's no current plan to do it right away. But they also said that it'd be fun to design that kind of character. So, who knows, maybe it could be... A new tank, or maybe a new offense. 
Maybe defense. It's not support, though. Like, ever. It's either going to be tank or offense, and or there's a slight chance of defense. Just, we just got a new tank, so I don't think they'd add a new tank. The new... We've gotten new characters for every class so far. We've got Sombra in attack. We've got Orisa in tank. We've got Anna in support. But so far, there's nothing in defense. I mean, technically, not counting, you know, the really early things before there were, like, half the characters. Because that doesn't count. That was, like, adding... That was just adding the rest of the cast. <laughs> Pun not intended. But, here. Hang on, I'm just gonna... Here, I'm, I'll move my thing. And off. And just watch. That stupid gauntlet! See, it triggers. Oh, man. They said he could level a skyscraper. And remember? He was all fighting, and Winston beat him? And, and was like... Primal Here's the thing. He said that it could light, it could level a skyscraper. But if you pay attention later on, uh, uh that's only in the Hall of Ids. Everybody knows Overwatch got shut down. Half of them are just mercenaries now. <laughs> okay, I don't think this is really gonna go anyway. But basically, uh. So it triggered, but it, later on, the, when the kid punches Widowmaker, the gauntlet shatters. It it breaks into little bitty pieces. Hang on, let's see if I. No, I can do some weird grab with my hands, but I can't force them backwards. At least not on the whatever. But it's broken. But the one on Numbani wasn't. Though it was stolen. What I think is, it was incomplete. It was just basically repaired. You know, it was a very quick patch. So, it was stolen before it was completed. Because uh, he knew that if it was completed... There we go. If it was completed, it'd be bad for him. Just making sure I'm still... Because it'd be super guarded. But in this, it's just in this little glass canister, you know? That's weird. Anyway, just this thing. This. It's kind of there. So he stole it. And once the Doomfist is retrieved, I'd say it's going to be a lot weaker than it used to be. Because, like I said, it could level a skyscraper. But I think it's going to be weakened down to the point where it's usable in an actual character that's not super overpowered, like Bastion. Seriously, Bash, Bastion is just broken. Honestly, the, uh, he, he was a lot more broken. Because his original ultimate, for those of you who don't know, was basically the same as Junkrat's. It was a small remote drone that when you triggered it, it'd stop in place. And it would either explode or create a small turret that'd just spin around shooting everywhere. Plus, he had a small shield like Reinhardt, Symmetra, or Orisa. Though, closer to Reinhardt since it was just stationary in front of him. But, also kind of Orisa since he didn't really have to do anything. It was just naturally there after it was triggered. Yeah, uh, so that's my theory. If you guys enjoyed this one, leave a like, comment, and maybe subscribe. It'd be really appreciated. I'll see you in the next video. And feel free to leave your own theories on the matter. Anyway, bye-bye.